You are all survivors. You are strong. You have the courage and you have the ability to recover. So I think it's important. We are not stones. So in my job, what I do is when people come to see me with pain, uh, especially with pain uh, in the, the entry of, uh, of vagina, for instance, after, after having kids, babies, they have, you know, like uh, scars. And every time we have a scar, the scar can um, um, create pain. And that's the main, pro the major problem with the, with you, what you had with the FGM, it's that you have most of the time pain. And this, this pain is, um, is in, in pitch. It's, it's like a, it's a stop for you to go further in exploration of your body. So in my job, what I used to do first, it's um, when you have a scar, whatever the scar, where it is, because baby, because of a cesarean, I don't know, I would say cesarean. Uh, after, what do you say? C-section. -sex C-section. Mm -hmm. So, or FGM, whatever, you have a scar and this scar needs to be treated. You have to touch, to know, to, because every scar, it's a place where there is no, uh, not any more collagen. There is no more, suppleness that's the main problem and after the surgery you had three months ago it's the same thing even though it's a help you need to work on these scars you need to touch but not to touch like mechanical way to touch you know like really with love to touch a scar with love with vitamin with a cream that we can have uh, maybe i think you can have this in um, in Nairobi. cream with the vitamin e and vitamin a and every day you must have an attention to this place that's been shocked, you know, that, that had a, a scar. So that's one thing. Um, as well, the, I, need, I, th I think you have two things. You have the physical pain and you have the psychological pain. So the psychological pain can be helped. First, to recognize your suffering. We uh, are this way to recognize that you've been a victim, but a victim, the first step to go to recover your strength and your power, it's to get out of this position of victim. You know, you had, you, you didn't ask for that. We agree, everybody's agree with that. But now you become an actor and you uh, had this help of the surgeon to make the surgery, but now you are the actor to continue to keep to keep the, uh, the the recovery, you know. So now we can help you, but you need really to take uh, the power, uh, the, the the confidence in yourself that you can reach the comfort in your body, psychologically and physically. So, um, in this in the, this healing process, uh, is really really important that you are not stones in the body until the death, you can recover. You can recover things, you can recover uh, comfort, you can recover pleasure. As long as you have pain, physical and psychological pain, it's hard to reach the pleasure. So uh, I will send you not, I can't do it now because I, I'm on phone, so I can't send you it now, but I will send you later on through WhatsApp. Uh, you have, I've been searching, I've been calling people as well in Nairobi uh, that they're working on the psychological aspect of the trauma you had. So it's with some techniques called UMDR and neurofeedback. I will send you that. So you can have a help for the trauma, psychological trauma. And because when you have a pain, physical pain, more than three months in your body, it's like the brain keep the memory of the pain. So you have to remove this, this uh, trauma in your, in your brain. You have to really go to have this help if you need, and really to remove that to access more pleasure. The size of the outside clitoris, you know, the size of, of the, what is outside that has been removed from, uh, from, from your body, um, with the, the woman that cut you, this part 
does not need to be big to have big pleasure. What you need is to recover, to access to the whole entire rest of the clitoris, what it's inside. And this, it's removing the pain of the scar, okay? So that's really, really important. Just to say to, to, say to you that uh, excision, it's been made everywhere in the world, even in Europe up to the 50s. And we keep traces, even though, even though I, I, I'm not physically excited, every woman keeps a kind of mental excision. I can tell you that in France, in Europe, we have women that, that, that they have the whole entire clitoris that hasn't been touched, but they don't feel any pleasure because they're mentally excised. You have to work on that. And that's really important. And more than that, when you will overcome this mental and physical excision with rehabilitation, you will be able to help more people, more women, you know? That's your role. So really, it's, it's a really important to work on that as well. And to use this energy of, of knowing that it's possible to recover, whatever they've been doing to you, you can recover. That's 100% uh, uh, sure. Even though you have a retraction of the clitoris, I know that this happened and sometimes they have to get it a little out, but you can reach it. You can still, even though it's small, you can reach. And don't, don't um, get, um, I know you have a big expectation, you know, with the, the surgery. Most of you, they had big, big, big expectations. So big disillusion, big deception. Don't be sad because you will recover, okay? So that's one thing. Uh, to take the responsibility, it's to have this, um, like a baby, See your clitoris like a little baby and every day you need to feed this baby with tenderness, with love. We, we need to, you, you need to, to watch, to look at it, to look your vulva. There is no one vulva the same. Every woman has a different vulva, a different shape, a different size, and there is no good or bad, you know, but you have to work on the scar. That's for sure. For every woman that had a problem, you, had, you really need to work on the scars. That's really, really important. And there is some machine sometimes that you can have. I will send you as well the name of the machine. Uh, it's called um, Winback. Winback, I prefer the Indiba, but it's two, uh, two, two, two different machines. And what they, they use, it's a little radio frequency. Yes, that's the machine. So uh, we, it's, it doesn't look, uh, it's a little small machine, but you can really, uh, I will find someone in Nairobi doing that or in some other con uh, uh, cities, but this can really help. But if you can't find that people with this machine, you can do yourself fingers. with your, you know, with your fingers, with the cream, and you can rub slowly, gently, with the vitamin, with the cream, and with the heat of the fingers. Or sometimes we can, we can have as well some material with, um, you know, like for instance, if you have a um, cold or hot material, hot is better. So with the heat, you can release the tension and release the nerve that sometimes they are stuck into the scar, you know, that's, and in two, three uh, session of that, or with your fingers, you can still improve your, the sensation. That's really, really important. So don't, uh, don't stop doing it. That's really important. And with a lot of love, you know, a lot of love. And there is no, uh, I'd say, you are the best person to know what is good for you. So, you know, if you touch yourself, you're not gonna make you a pain. You, you will go slowly, gently, until it becomes comfortable. So um, it's important that you are the first to know what you like. What I want to say, it's, uh, it's better to explore your own body and your own pleasure yourself alone first. And after, when you know what you like, how you, do, you like things or strong or soft, you can have with your partner eventually to explain to him or to her 
what you like. You know, it's important that you, you know before what you like and what you don't like. Some women, they like a rubbing, you know, to rub strongly. Some women just with the, doing that on the clitoris, they feel pleasure. No, no one is the same. Everyone is different. So that's really important. The size, the color, the shape, every woman is like the face is different there is not one good and one bad and when you to reach orgasm some women they reach orgasm but don't, they don't know what it is i remember when i was in Nairobi uh, a few years ago i was talking with a woman and she explained to me what she felt you know when she make love and i said that's an orgasm she said really she expected something different Orgasm, it's when, you know, you have something really strong, very pleasurable, and suddenly you, it's like contraction of the, the muscles of the vagina, like a pump, and suddenly you don't want anyone to touch you anymore, like, oh, stop, it's too much. And you feel like a, a released tension. All your body feel like released, ah, like you don't want anything else. That's an orgasm. You know, most of the time, this is an orgasm. And um, sometimes you expect something more than that, but it's that. When to reach an orgasm, you need, and that's one really important point, you need to feel safe, no danger. You can't really reach orgasm if you feel in danger. A woman to feel uh, that she can abandon herself needs to feel no danger. Just just so, a second. Just a second. Someone is yes. someone is texting, and they are not understanding organ. They are thinking you're saying organism, and I, they are not understanding the word orgasm. Orgasm. Yes. So, orgasm is. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. So or, orgasm. The what you call the orgasm. The 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 strong pleasure you can have with the sexuality with the clitoris orgasm it's reached when you feel uh, confident when you feel um, that you're not in danger that you're safe and there is no limit but what, to feel that you feel that you have to let go something you know you feel you need to feel very comfortable with your with your partner or with yourself it's better to begin with yourself, with a shower in the clitoris, squirting. Squirting, squirting. you know, when you what? release water, when, you know. Yes, you, when you release squirting, when they have orgasm, you know, they have, re they release water. Ah, yes, some women, but not all of them. No. You know, some women, they have, a, they call like a fountain, you know, like, like they're really wet. Some other woman not coming, coming Co yeah. ah, to come, uh, to come. Uh, it's, it's some women they say what the, when they have the orgasm, it's like they're coming, like I'm coming. They say I'm coming. That means they, they, they are like we you can't stop because they feel that they will reach like um, this climax, this kind of sensation that after that. Poof, everything is going, they're not here anymore. You know, like, like um, they feel, they call that in French, the little death. You, it's not that you die. It's just like you, you feel totally, you don't have nerves anymore. It's like you're totally released. You know, you feel whew, just totally relaxed. And they say it's calming. Uh, it's the way to say, I'm coming, they say I'm coming, that's French maybe, I don't know if I say in English, but it's like the sensation, you don't, um, the outside does not exist anymore, you know? So that sensation, you, you can feel that, to reach that point when really you feel confident and you can reach that alone by yourself with your fingers, you know, or with vibrators. Uh, Nadine will talk to you about vibrators later on, okay? But there is no one way to reach that point, really. And there is no taboo. 
some women they can reach that that uh, that uh, moment of orgasm or orgasm that uh, big pleasure uh, with imagination like uh, they like uh, this actor you know and when they imagine this actor making love with him they feel a big pleasure there is no taboo no limit in the in the brain nobody can steal uh, your fantasy nobody this is yours this it's like a, a a secret garden, you know? Nobody can steal that from you. They stole something, but they can't stole you. So that's impossible. So I encourage you to have an appointment uh, to yourself every day with this pleasure, with, um, with the breast, with the clitoris, with inside, outside, to, uh, to work on the scars, to make them to become very supple so you can reach that moment and to open a new world, a dream world, you know? And after you can share that with someone else, if you want, it's not compulsory. It's like, it's not mandatory. It's like, it's if you want, you can share that pleasure. So um, you can't compare one woman with another one. This, there is no comparison, nothing. So the surgery helped you. It's a small help, but it's not enough. You, you really need to continue to explore that aspect of yourself and to overcome this to trauma. That's really, really important. Uh, the human being has been created perfect for pleasure and not for pain. So you will, I'm sure that, that you will. And I hope you will call us and to say, yes, I've reached, I, I don't have pain anymore and it's perfect. And I have, you know, I hope to, to, to have this kind of exchanges with you, really. Um, you, you've been through so many strong emotion, you know, like at the beginning that happened to you, anger, disgust, fear, shame, uh, mm, uh, guilt sometimes. You're not guilty of everything what happened to you, but some women that feel, and you've been, like betrayed by the woman that, that, that they were supposed to protect you. You were supposed to be protected and you've, you've not been protected. You've been betrayed. I know that they, they, they thought they were doing something good, but it's not the case. You know, they've been doing something bad. So you have to remove all that from your body and from your brain and forgive what happened and do what you do in your life, what you had the courage to do in your life, as, uh, for instance, surgery or no surgery, but to have the courage to continue and to, to stop this, um, this female uh, genital mutilation, really, and overcome that. You will overcome that. So um, that's what I wanted to say to you. I don't, I, maybe I'm talking very quickly because I was very enthusiastic to meet you all. And um, I hope to come back to Kenya with this machine. Maybe if I can come back one day and you can have, if you have still little pain, we can work if, you, if, I, if we don't find someone doing it uh, this over there. But really don't be des desperate, you will recover. That's my message. So you can reach a beautiful, beautiful world.